everyone. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gar. This is Arachnatube, as you know. Thank you. Videos every Monday, Thursday, 7 o'clock. Selenocosmia species Ebony is today, or what is called the Selenocosmia species Borneo 2. These are extremely rare in the hobby. Uh, at one point, they were uh, available about 11 years ago regularly and you only ever see them come up every now and again but today i need to rehouse this one and uh, hopefully we'll have a good look at it also what i need to do and you'll see in here ow fuck that's glass um so these tanks right i got loads and loads and loads of these tanks they're um uh, 30 centimeter cubes and i got Tons of them. But if you notice, look. One's got a rail. One doesn't have a rail. So, look at the rail. Here's the rail. So I need to fix that onto there. Let that cure. And then rehouse into this. So join me. Oh fuck! Oh, okay, this is, as I said, the uh, the uh, malfunctioning uh, enclosure. Twenty twenty by oh, sorry, thirty thirty by thirty. I just need to pop that onto there. Now, a bead of silicone is probably best, but I haven't got any, so I am going to use. Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Glue Gel, super really strong and clear as well. So, um, a little bit of glue, right? Uh, the fumes really won't harm. Uh, and obviously I'm gonna leave this to cure. So as soon as it's cured and there's no smell, that means it's absolutely safe. So I've got my clamp. Which way does that clamp want to? Like that, okay. Sand. Let me start this bad boy. And I absolutely love this stuff, this Gorilla Glue stuff. Got a good. Oh shit, that's a bit more than I wanted. Spread it out a bit. Spread it out, spread it out, spread it out. Make sure that it's all the way to the tip. Don't worry. Try not to get it on your hands though, right? Because the stuff is awful. Okay. Place it right into position where you want it. And it has to be right on the edge. Make sure it's completely straight. Otherwise, the glass won't fit in. Right. Oh, fuck, man. There. And then I'm gonna stick my uh, clamp on it. That's fine, that sounds. So I'll leave that now. I'll put the top on this Gorilla Glue, otherwise it'll be stuck to me. I know it, it's happened in the past. Yep, that'll work perfectly. And now I'm just going to leave it, so I'll pop that over there. And then um, we will have a look at the spider, which is probably one of my favourites. If you think of um, what a Gramostola pulchra, so the Brazilian black looks like, you know that jet black fuzzy stuff? Then this is like that, but absolutely nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly forgot. First things you're going to need when dealing with any Selenocosmia is uh, your tweezers. So a big set of tweezers and a big, well, a decent sized catch cup, which I can't find you. It's hardly going to be any editing involved in this video, so I just want to uh, let you know that. And that's where the spider is there. And I want to, um, I hate I'm not having a desk, I'm on the floor here. And uh, it makes the angle 
a lot tougher to, where's her abdomen? Her abdomen's there, right? So she's pointing the head first in there. Hey. She's looking very, very healthy. And just cut her like that. Get the lid. I can't see because of the bloody light now. Your legs it. There we go. Okay. Oop. Okay, there she is. What an amazing looking spider. You get what I see about the fuzziness of the grammar Stola. She is incredible. So these things are from Borneo. They are fossorial spiders, obligate burrowers. And what's really interesting about these spiders, right, is that the females are like this, black, jet black. But the males are bright purple when they mature. So what I've done here, right, is give um, more of a bank to it, and uh, this is keyword now. It's all good. So I think I'll put the spider back in. So. So here she is. And uh, what we're going to do is just gently walk her in. She doesn't want to move. Handy. And just walk her in. Oh! What's that? She wants to just walk in. Come on. She's not... Uh, there we go. And there we are. She's gone behind there now. Okay, so where is the... That's there. I'm gonna just pop it down. And I'll just give her a... Um, fill the water bowl, give her a spray down now. But I wanna make sure that she is gone... Uh, that she's gone behind everything. She's just here at the moment. Uh, just like, cure, cure. So, um, when she starts going up at the top, I can spray everything down, and I'm pretty happy with that. She can go back on the shelf, and then um, that's good for a few more months. See, it's one of the most defensive spiders on the planet. Absolutely no aggro at all. If uh, you give it a little bit of respect, and if you take your time, and if the enclosures are correct. Remember when I said that the uh, orb we've had moved? Well, watch this. Look at 
there she is now. <laughs> so she has moved to here. Oh, I touched the web. She didn't like that. That was my, oh no. I dropped, I knocked over my camera. Oh, I touched the webs, yeah. There's some webs. Yeah. Wait, she didn't like that. Very cool, I want. Touch the web again. No, she doesn't like it. Well, I'm gonna have a rest now and edit this video. So thank you all for joining me. Um, please, if you liked my stuff, hit the like button. If you love the stuff, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you on the next one. You take care, stay safe.